Example 44. Find the probability of randomly selecting one card from a deck of 52 cards and getting either a face card or a 3. So it's clearly a probability problem by this phrase here, find the probability. And then we see that we're only selecting one thing, one card in this case, that's really important. And then we go on to see that there are, the word, there are two things here surrounding the word or. So with that word or, the fact that we're taking only one card and it's a probability problem, we think it's the addition rule of probability based on those key phrases. So we have the probability of randomly selecting one card from a deck of 52 cards and getting either a face card or a three. So the word or, the fact that we're taking one card and that phrase find the probability makes me think it's addition rule. Remember, if it wasn't for the word or, if it just ended there, you know, find the probability of getting a face card, that would just be basic probability at that point, right? Basic probability, so we'd have one fraction to solve the problem. But when they put that word or, and then they put another category at the end, so or a three, it now becomes addition rule. Okay, so I know it's addition rule. Let's write out the statement then. It would be the probability of a face card or a three. And that can be broken down into three fractions. The first one representing the probability that we get the first thing, which is a face card. Then plus the probability that we get the second thing, which is a three, minus the probability that we get the two of these things together on the same card. That means face cards, right, that are also threes. So the question we have to ask is, does this category exist? Are there any face cards that are also threes? Well, when you look on the list here, here are the cards that have faces on them, and here are the cards that have three. They're clearly separated from one another. So I would say that these are disjoint sets of things, right? In other words, there's no overlap. There's no place where they're the same at the same time. So you can't find a jack of threes, for example. There's no such thing, right? It's either a three or a jack. It's either a three or a queen. It's either a three or a king. There are no face cards that are also threes. So this set is empty. So I'm just going to say the probability of getting it is zero. So we can cross that off. This is an example of a mutually exclusive addition rule case. So it's a case where these two categories are disjoint. In other words, there's no intersection between them, so we're not going to be able to fill in that last fraction, which is great news, actually, because it makes our lives easier. So then we just have two fractions to work with. So we draw the lines, and we begin to fill in the fractions. So keep in mind that even though in class you're taught you know, the addition rule probability and then you're taught this idea that there is you know, uh, mutually exclusive cases, you don't need to think about it as you recognize the problem as addition rule, right? You just start filling in the fractions. And it'll alert, you'll be alerted to the fact that it's you know, mutually exclusive when you run into something like this because you'll say, oh, this is impossible so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, it must be mutually exclusive. But it doesn't really matter in the end. We're just going to have these two fractions to fill in and that's it. Now remember, each fraction is basic probability, so we just do that as number of over total. Number of over total. Now what's the number of here? Well, it's the number of face cards, right? Number of face cards, and this is number of threes, right, over the total. Okay, so how many total cards are there? Well, there are 52 total cards. Remember, in addition rule of probability, if you're only taking one item, you can keep the denominator the same throughout. So if the first denominator is 52, so is the second. All right, then number of face cards. Well, we can see there's three here, three here, three here, three here. So all together, that's three, six, nine, 12 face cards out of the 52 cards. How many of the cards are actually threes? We only see one, two, three, four cards that are threes. So putting it together, you get the answer 16 over 52. Four can go into both of these. So four will go into that one four times, goes into this one 13 times. So four thirteenths is your answer. That's a reduced fraction. If you wanted to express that as a decimal, you can do four divided by 13. And so you get the answer approximately 0.308, or in other words, 30.8%.